From tangy to sweet to salty, condiments go great with almost everything. We're gonna show you how to make five condiments that are gonna take your taste buds over the edge on Dad's, Dad's Guide, Guide to the, the Universe. Universe. Our first condiment is an incredible pineapple bacon jam. Let's start by missing four whole shallots. Is that thunder? All the inconsistent sizes and shapes is gonna help mm -hmm. give you extra texture mm -hmm. once it's in the bacon it's chip. Not, it's not. <laughs> Next, we're gonna slice two cups of bacon. Once that's sliced, we'll add our bacon to a nonstick pan and cook over medium heat. I turned that on all by myself. Going solo. I don't need Faye. Make my own bacon. Oh, hey, Faye. What's up? Can you start without me? Hey Mark, did you know the first condiments were actually used by Romans as well? I thought those were against the religion. What? Oh. Okay, once the bacon cooks through and releases its fat, we're gonna spoon it out. Then we're gonna add our minced shallots and let them cook in the bacon fat. Finally, apple cider vinegar. Some light brown sugar and a pinch of red pepper flake. Don't pay any attention to the thunder. <laughs> did get chilly. We'll season it with a bit of kosher salt and black pepper. Now we're ready to add back our bacon. The apple cider vinegar is gonna cook down and let this get really nice and jammy. Finally, let's grow some pineapple. You can totally cut your own pineapple if you want, but they come so neatly cut right out of the can. <laughs> it dropped like 25 degrees. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. Whoa. Hey, we're going green! Oh, there's lightning. Here she comes. Whoa, that was close. Guys, get the camera, Mark. Get off my shirt, asshole. We are back 12 hours later. We had a slight weather inconvenience. But does that stop us? Nope. We'll do a rough chop on this grilled pineapple and add it to the jam. Mmm, got that sizzle. The nice thing about this is it's the only condiment that you need on the burger. That's true. The smoky, crispy bacon, which you love, but you also get the acidic hit that you would get from, let's say, pickles. It's kind of the perfect burger topper. Okay, we finally finished one condiment. Next up is our amazing chipotle barbecue sauce. We're gonna start in a medium saucepan with a base of ketchup. Some apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, then some molasses, about two tablespoons. That ought to do it. That's perfect. A little Worcester sister sauce. A little dab will do you. Worcestershire sauce is gonna give you that umami pop, which is based in anchovies. In other words, it's fish sauce. Next up is chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Control the heat by how much you put in. One chipotle and a little bit of the sauce is gonna give you the flavor, not much heat. Now we'll put in the zest of one whole orange. The great thing about zest is there's no acid and lots of flavor in the oil. And then we're gonna get the acid from the juice. Mark, I'm gonna go ahead and garnish the drink. Here we go. This is a game to you. Get the fucking orange out of your mouth. <laughs> Another thing that's great about making this much of a condiment is you can keep it in your fridge and use it for the next two weeks if you want. No problem. Impress your friends. Bring the sauce up to a boil, reduce the heat, then add some salt. And that's it. The number one way to make it feel like you didn't make that much barbecue sauce is to use a bowl this big. <laughs> a quick spoon test will show us if we hit the consistency we want. Easy to brush on, but thick enough to coat. All right, Mark, on to the next. We're making homemade mustard, but not just any mustard. Mm -mm. <laughs> beer mustard. We're gonna use a little bit of PBR, our preferred beer. You want a wide pan here because you need to reduce this a lot and you want a lot of surface area. Give it some height, looks really good. Don't cross the stream, don't cross okay. the stream. <laughs> you reduce this by at least half. It's technically a little more than that because you're going 24 ounces down to eight ounces. So it's by more than half. And that comes out to one cup of reduced beer. We're gonna use a little bit more of yellow mustard seed and a little bit less of brown. We're gonna do a third cup of our yellow mustard seeds. Very precise. And we're gonna do a quarter cup of brown mustard seeds. Then we'll add our reduced beer. Glorious. We're gonna give it a stir and then hold it in the fridge overnight. See ya. Next, we're gonna blend this all together. This looks watery right now, but mustard is a natural emulsifier, so this will incorporate very nicely. Before we blend, we're gonna add some more seasoning. It's a little bit of salt, always use kosher salt. Why? Because I said so. Three tablespoons of brown sugar, half tablespoon turmeric, pinch of allspice, and then you're gonna do a whole heaping tablespoon of Coleman's mustard powder. Yeah, you don't need to be exact with this. Nope. And the more and more you do this recipe, the more and more you'll dial it in. World's your oyster. Actually, the world's your mustard. All right, guys, this Ninja Immersion Blender with the turbo kick that you can add here <laughs> is gonna get this thing emulsified and it's gonna go quickly. The less you do this, the more of a whole grain mustard you're gonna have. The more you do it, the smoother it's gonna be. Look how nice and thick this mustard is. It's bitter. 
It's awful. Ooh. <clears throat> Weren't we supposed to add vinegar? Yeah. We didn't add any f***ing vinegar. vinegar. Now that is a proper mustard. Yeah, that's great. And it's gonna thicken up when you put it in the fridge. It'll be perfect and spreadable on the 12 hot dogs we're gonna consume. Up next, <laughs> we're gonna make some homemade mayo. We're gonna show you guys an interesting technique that makes mayo in literally seconds. It's bulletproof. We need two whole eggs, a squeeze of lemon, not too much. Dijon mustard to help emulsify. A couple pinches of kosher salt. And now we're gonna go ahead and dump right on top two cups of vegetable oil. All right, here's the trick. Cue the angelic tunes. All of the ingredients have sank to the bottom. Our immersion blender is gonna mix those up and slowly pull the oil in so we get a perfect emulsion. And we got mayo. If you cut out all of our yapping, the entire time it takes to make this mayo is about 45 seconds, including getting the stuff out of the fridge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> onto our final condiment. It's so special, we call it special sauce. Right, Mark? Let's make it. We're gonna start with one cup of mayo. Oh, jeez, we're kidding. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna do a quarter cup of ketchup. It's okay, a lot of people have this problem. Now we'll add in some sweet relish to help. Also add some sugar. Did you actually put some relish in that? Just trying. <laughs> this is awkward. Oh my God. All right, oh, that's, good. that's good. Next we're gonna put a tablespoon of our own salt and pepper three chili blend from Spiceology. What are the peppers in there, Mark? Szechuan peppercorn, crushed red pepper, and cayenne. If you guys don't have this, you can get it from our site, dadsguidetotheuniverse.com. But if you don't have this, just use salt, pepper, onion powder, cayenne, and some crushed red pepper. And finally, we'll add our garlic powder. All right, we're just gonna mix it up. You're gonna look for a color that's that kind of like reddish, orangey, pinky color. That's when you know you've got special sauce. Every major burger chain in the world has their own version of this. Yep. It's essential for the perfect burger. All right, we've made all five of our condiments. Now we're gonna make some burgers and dogs just to test them out. Cue the burger and dog montage. Burgers and dogs, reserved for the backyard warriors of family, fun, and community. The only thing that makes this better is the condiments upon which you place them. Your face being there makes it really hard to flip the burgers. Go the way. This shoot was supposed to be easy. Mother Nature had something else in store for us. Yeah, but you know what? We beat it and we ended up making bacon jam, homemade beer mustard, chipotle barbecue sauce, homemade mayo, and our own version of special sauce. Can we eat them? Yep. We are gonna start with our bacon jam hot dog. Mm, excellent, thank you. Oh, look at that. Delicious hot dog, bacon jam, cheers. Mm. I know. Sweet, salty, bacony, little island tropical with the pineapple. That's good. Yeah. And the little bit of heat, honestly, is what ties it all together. It's almost like a hot and sour hot mm -hmm. dog. Mm. Oh, great. All right, Mark, what we got next? We've got our PBR mustard, grilled hot dog, a little bit of raw white onion, super classic, super simple, super delicious. All right, so you're starting to get a little bit of that heat from the brown mustard, but man, it's got a good sweet aftertaste, doesn't it? Oh my God. Yeah, that brown sugar in there, HDV, because we didn't forget it. This is epic. That's great. All right, Mark, up next, we have our chipotle barbecue sauce that we made. We put on a burger. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Here, Captain. This barbecue sauce could go on ribs, brisket, whatever it is you want to put it on, it's going to be great. I want to dunk. Ah, wow. Wow. The orange, man. Would you put a whole zest of orange in there? On its own, the barbecue sauce was a little spicy. But once it's in this entire composition with the oh. burger, it is the perfect balance of sweet and heat. That's what I'm talking about. That's delicious. And we put lettuce in there, so it's technically a salad. A salad. Mm -hmm. Next up, homemade mayo. Look at this little heartbeat here. There you go. Mm hmm. I mean, it's great. Yeah, it's so creamy and delicious. Absolutely perfect consistency. I mean, look how good that is. But now you can add roasted garlic, chilies. This mayo is a sauce canvas. Make it whatever you want. Last but not least, one of my all time favorites is our special sauce. Mm hmm. When you put mayo with ketchup, relish, and all the other things we talked about, it's just a real treat, and especially when you use your own homemade mayo to make your special sauce. Think of these as tools in the flavor toolbox. You can use these condiments to make a hundred different things. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if there's any other things you want a Dad's Guide episode on, let us know in the comments. I have some other things.